Every time the Spaggy uh, ask for the left hand side, I'll go out there. I, I am the one to run the show. He struck him out, a good screwball, and Willie Hernandez does it again. I believe in myself because I got a lot of confidence and uh, I am the boss out there. Relief pitchers are some of the most volatile players throughout the history of Major League Baseball. They have little margin for error when they are out on the mound. It is very easy for their ERA to blow up, and it's very hard to bring it back down. It's very hard to gauge whether or not a relief pitcher will have a good or even a downright terrible season. But every once in a while, something just clicks and a reliever will have a season that can be remembered forever. One of the most interesting seasons of a player that did just that was the 1984 season of Willie Hernandez. Willie's story begins on November 14, 1954 in Aguada, Puerto Rico. Willie did not originally begin his baseball career as a pitcher. He was a third baseman and an outfielder. When Willie was a teenager, his baseball coach asked him to pitch when one of the team's starting pitchers got suspended and the other was injured. He ended up throwing a seven-inning shutout. That was the start to his pitching career. Willie Hernandez signed with the Philadelphia Phillies as an amateur free agent. He was a starting pitcher during that time. He had respectable stats during his three-year stint in Philadelphia's minor league system. In his first season in the Philadelphia Phillies minor leagues, he had 11 wins, 11 losses, a 2.75 ERA, and he pitched in 190 innings. He had 179 strikeouts. His second season in the Philadelphia Phillies minor league system had 14 wins, 6 losses, 171 innings, a 3.11 ERA, and 92 strikeouts. He showed pretty good promise that he could become a very respectable player in the major leagues. In 1976, the Chicago Cubs selected Willie Hernandez in the Rule 5 draft from the Phillies organization. The Cubs thought outside the box and converted Willie into a relief pitcher. On April 9th, 1977, he made his major league debut giving up one hit and zero runs in two and a third innings. He appeared in 67 games his rookie year with an 8-7 record with a 3.03 ERA, 78 strikeouts, and 110 innings pitched. Willie's Cubs career was pretty average with some pretty good seasons mixed in, but nothing overall that special. Willie Hernandez was traded back to the Phillies in 1983. He was very excited to return back because of the Phillies being a contender. Hernandez appeared in 63 games for the Phillies and had an 8-4 record with a 3.29 ERA and 7 saves. He helped lead the Phillies to the 1983 World Series where they eventually lost to the Orioles in five games. Willie played very good in the series, playing three games with four innings pitched and gave up zero runs during the entirety of that series. On March 24, 1984, the Phillies would trade Hernandez to the Detroit Tigers along with Dave Bergman for Glenn Wilson and John Walkenfuss. No one knew it at the time, but Willie Hernandez would have the best season of his career and become a main piece of this Detroit team. Willie's 1984 statistics include leading the league with 80 games played, 140 and a third innings, a 1.92 ERA, a 9-3 record, 32 saves, 
and 112 strikeouts. He was an all-star and won the Cy Young Award. He even won the AL MVP that season. The Baseball Writers of America voted him as Tiger of the Year. He received 42 of 46 votes with Alan Trammell and Kirk Gibson receiving two votes each. Willie is one of 11 pitchers to win the Cy Young and MVP award in the same season. But what exactly helped Willie Hernandez turn his career around? Many people credit the screwball and cutter for this amazing turnaround. Prior to the 1983 season, Willie learned the screwball from fellow pitcher Mike Cuellar. The Detroit Tigers finished the 1984 season with a 104-58 record. They swept the Kansas City Royals in the ALCS. Willie pitched in all three games, pitching four innings to a 2.25 ERA and only gave up one run. The Tigers would go on to face the San Diego Padres in the 1984 World Series. Winning the World Series would hopefully nail down Willie Hernandez into the history books and cap off the legendary season he had up to this point. The Tigers win Game 1 off of an amazing 9-inning performance by Jack Morris, who shuts down the Padres for a 3-2 victory, striking out 9 and only giving up 2 runs in this complete game. The Padres ultimately win Game 2. Willie Hernandez did not pitch until this game, but Willie was deployed in order to keep the game close, but the Padres end up winning 5-3. In Game 3, the Tigers win 5-2. Willie pitches two and a third innings and holds the Padres down to complete the save and take the lead in the series. Game 4. The Tigers win 4-2, and Jack Morris again pitches a complete game and holds the Padres at bay. Game 5. The Tigers are up 5-3 after the 7th inning. The Tigers have a chance to win the game and ultimately win the World Series. Willie Hernandez comes in for the 8th inning. He only gave up one run in the 8th because of a solo shot by Kurt Bivacqua. It is now a slim 5-4 lead for the Tigers. It's the bottom of the 8th. The Tigers score 3 runs to make it an 8-4 ball game. With a chance to earn a save and finish the game off, Willie Hernandez comes back to pitch in the ninth inning. Willie gets Gary Templeton to ground out. He then gives up a single to the second batter, Bruce Bochy. Willie then gets Alan Wiggin to pop out. The final out is in reach for Willie, but to get that out, he has to get the late, great Tony Gwynn out. That is no easy task. Let's just watch and see what happens. Willie Hernandez closes out the clinching game and earns the save. Willie would go on to have two more All-Star caliber seasons in 1985 and 1986, and would go on to have a couple more decent seasons, but Willie would eventually flame out in 1989 and have a pretty bad year. Elbow soreness would be the key factor in sidelining Hernandez throughout the season. He would go on to attempt a couple failed comebacks with the Athletics, Phillies, Blue Jays, and even the Yankees. Willie Hernandez's career stats would include 16.7 wins above replacement, 70 wins and 63 losses, a 3.38 ERA, 147 saves, 1,044 and two-third innings, and 788 strikeouts. Although Willie Hernandez will never make the Hall of Fame, 
he had a better career than a majority of players that come and go in Major League Baseball history. He will always go down in history for his historic 1984 season and will always be a Detroit Tiger legend.